Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to Beauty Broadcast Express. Today I'm going to be talking about the Maybelline Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. So these are said to be a medicated tinted lip balm. There are six shades total, um, including the clear. I have four of them here to talk about today. So I've talked about the regular baby lips before these tinted lip balms, and I really like those. I actually think they're a very handy, um, quick and easy kind of low maintenance lip product. So when I saw these, I kind of thought, Ooh, you know, what have they done to change it up? And basically the claim on the website is that these soothe sore lips and combat dryness. Some of the ingredients in here, these contain menthol, these contain eucalyptus, honey, shea butter. Those are just a few of the identifiable things that I found there. And these definitely do have um, like a little bit of a minty scent, but it also borders on the scent of like Vicks VapoRub if you're familiar with that, and I know some people would be like, oh, back off, I don't want any part of that, but um, maybe some people really enjoy that. I do feel like there's a coolness to these, so when you do apply them, um, I think it does make your lips feel soothed. The shades I have, I have the one called Too Cool, which is just the clear, and this actually seems to be a little bit thinner formula than the others. For some reason, I feel like it's a little more slick, and this, I really feel like, does not have great staying power at all. I've had this on, and I feel like like it really doesn't hang around longer than a half hour and that's not counting eating drinking it's just living life just being here just existing and I feel like it just wears off really really quickly and I think that can kind of hinder um, its ability to do its job and really moisturize and nourish the lips. I also have a shade called Just Peachy um, to glance at this it looks like kind of a peachy nude. Not head over heels in love with this shade I don't really love what it does on top of my kind of mauve tone lips this sheer peachy Peach just, I don't know, it doesn't seem to totally be working for me, but I mean, it's not awful. Now, a shade that I really, really love is the one I'm wearing now, and it's in, um, what's it called, Berry Soft, and I Instagrammed a picture with this on over the weekend, and I feel like this is such a great pink. I feel like it gives a decent amount of, like, color coverage on the lips, and just a pretty pink shade. And then another one here is called Soothing Sorbet, and this one probably is the most colorful of the ones that I have. It's a lot like the one I have on now, only I feel like it's a little bit brighter, a um, little more depth to the color. All of the colored shades seem to be the same kind of texture. They're not like crazy shiny, but there is some shine that comes off of these. Um, and I, like I said, they're a little bit thicker than this, which this clear one um, is about the texture of, say, a lip smacker, which is real slick, um, kind of thin. These are just slightly thicker in texture. You have visible, like, dry, cracked lips, you know, where like you look at your lips and you can see the lines a lot and you can see some flakiness. If you go and put one of these colors on top, I feel like that shows. And I think that's the case with any lip product. You start layering things over lips that have dry, dead skin on them. It's not going to look pretty it's, and it's going to show up. But still, these are called Dr. Rescue, you know, something that's supposed to soothe and treat that problem, but I don't think it really looks pretty on the driest of lips. First off, I think some, using some sort of lip scrub or lip exfoliator, e.l.f. has a good one that's in a stick. That really can help get the layer of dead skin off the lips. But if I'm really wanting to cater to and treat the problem, I'm going to go for something that doesn't add color to my lips. I know Tyler swears by the cocoa butter um, lip balm. I also like the Nivea lip balms. Things that are really, really hydrating and just do the down and dirty work to help add some moisture to your lips. Uh, bottom line, I don't think I'd reach for these if I was having a total dry lip crisis um, because I really feel like the weakest link of all of these in terms of moisturization is probably the clear one. I don't think they're really a healing type product, um, like they're going to totally reverse your issues, but I do feel like when I put them on, um, you know, if my lips have felt dry, they feel a little bit soothed and more comfortable with this cooling effect on there. But I do really love a couple of these colors, and that's really the primary thing that I like about these. The Berry Soft and the Soothing Sorbet is that they're just so pretty on the lips. So that's my two cents on these. Let me know what you think if you've tried them, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.